Wow, keep watching to see what happens when this giant freak hybrid dinosaur comes face to face with the T-Rex and Indoraptor. Who will be the victor? Mac Formers went ahead and sent me these three awesome huge magnetic dinosaur toys. So they sent me a huge Stegosaurus, a huge T-Rex, and a huge Triceratops. And these are all different uh, number of magnets. The uh, Triceratops is 18 pieces. The T-Rex is 15 pieces and the Stegosaurus is 20 pieces. Gonna go ahead and open these up. But before I do, let's go ahead and check out the packaging because they did a great job with this packaging. So on the front it says Magformers here, 15 pieces. This is from their monster set line. You can see the different pieces here, how you put them together. And here is all three of the dinosaurs. Cool. Okay, so what is in the package? And it's really cool. Look at in the package, it almost looks like it's some type of wrapping paper. And then here you got the T-Rex all put together with a really cool like jungle background. Awesome. They also let you remove the background without damaging it, so it creates like a fun image you could use when you're playing with the toy. Cool. So there is the T-Rex. We will uh, go ahead and take these toys apart and stuff so you could see how they come apart after I get them all put together. So this shows how many parts are in each and what parts are here. Cool. Let's open the other ones and then we'll check them all out. Okay, then we've got the Triceratops. So the same thing with this one. You could go ahead and preserve the packaging in the background. So you have a cool background to play with. Okay, and there is a quick look at the Triceratops. And then the Stegosaurus. So the same with the, the same off. Uh, well, it is a different picture. I guess the dino you're opening is in the forefront, in the front of all the pictures. And here is what you get before I take it out. So same cool background. So here is a quick look at the Stegosaurus. Okay, and we're gonna welcome our new dinosaur friends to Jurassic World. There we got the gates of Jurassic Park. You got a rampaging T-Rex breaking off. You got an exploding volcano here. So it's the perfect environment for the dinos. And of course, we're going to start with the coolest one, which is the T-Rex. So if you guys ever played with Magformers, Magformers are awesome. So they're uh, like magnetic dinosaur toys so with this one here the arms do move and lock into different positions all the way up and down like that the legs swivel in and out they do turn 360 degrees so you could get this guy standing in a lot of different positions and he's also got wheels on his legs here so you could just push him right along so kids would love this toy here it is the coolest toy and then the tail moves up and down it swivels back and forth 360 degrees it is on a ball joint the mouth ah that's the one thing they didn't do they didn't make the mouth opening. I mean, this would be so much cooler if the mouth opened. And then you got a block body. So with this one, just go ahead and break it down. I have never broken this down, but it's like self-explanatory. It's like so cool. Go ahead, remove these pieces here. 
Okay, it looks like you got a box in there to help you form it correctly. Let's see. Oh, okay, so that does pop off there, and the head pops off. Okay, so here is all the pieces here. And then, uh, if you do use this uh, square piece here, it does make things simpler. So, simply go ahead, snap on the head here. So these pieces, I believe they're interchangeable because they all look the same to me. So, well, what I didn't do was snap these out. So once you create the box form, you know, it's pretty simple. You could create the box form uh, loosely or you could use the box shape. Here I'm just going to do it pretty much free form. These are powerful magnets. They snap together nice and easily. Wow, I am totally impressed. I love this toy. I mean, I reviewed a lot of dinosaur toys, and that is so cool. Look at this. It's totally flexible. I mean, you could, like, flatten the dinosaur toy here, and then you could just pull it. Well, okay, those magnets are kind of strong. If you're careful, I guess you could pull it back into shape, but... I prefer doing it like this. So here, so I guess the head does pop out then too. So these part pieces are pretty much interchangeable here. So your best bet is to create a square here and then just start popping in pieces. So you're gonna need uh, two pieces in the back here for the legs. I guess if you use the box, you would get... You know what, let's use the box. I think you would get a cleaner, much cleaner shape there if you use the box there. Yeah, you do get a much cleaner shape if you use the box, which... And stronger. I mean, it makes it a lot stronger. Without that box, it is a lot easier to crush. And then you've got the head here attached, which we just did and you pop it in the front or the back doesn't matter you pop in this back piece here you pop on the tail and then the legs here once again ball joint the legs do also move up, up and down and lock into different positions so you know it's it's very self-explanatory oh i pushed it too hard Okay, so once you get it together, just go ahead, take this arm piece here. This pops in just like the other ones, and your Triceratops is, I mean your T-Rex is all built. So you could have him standing all the way up like that, or just bring him all the way down like that. His legs do move and lock into different positions. You could have him come down here on all fours if you want but i prefer like a roaring type attack right there that is awesome wow i love these mac former toys and then uh, the triceratops i do not see a box huh why does it not have a box okay well it doesn't so but anyways with this one too you could go ahead Take everything apart here. Quickly, simply. I mean, I love how this thing just, the whole thing just pops apart here. And you just have a bunch of magnetic pieces to put back together. It is the coolest thing. Okay, so here. It's almost like a giant Lego set, but self-explanatory. I mean, let's see you put together a Lego set like this without instructions. Some people could, but most people cannot, including me. No way I could put together a big, huge Lego set without instructions. You pretty much have to be a master builder, which I am not.
I'm the farthest thing from a master builder that there ever was. So uh, very self-explanatory. The pieces are interchangeable. You don't have to use the exact same pieces everywhere. You could turn these squares in any direction. So they do pop in here nice and easily. It might almost be easier popping them in before you put it together because if you do put too much pressure on this see, you'll put you'll push it in like that because it is still magnet magnets so it might almost be easier putting it together the way it was before okay so I just crushed this thing but uh, that you know at this it's just so much fun. It's <laughs> I love it. Like I said, it's a self-explanatory Lego set. I could get it to stay together. Ah, uh, I don't know. I I think most of the time they do come with boxes like you've seen on the T-Rex there, which makes it a lot easier. But anyways, the head pops on right over there, and then. The tail pops on in the back over here. Yeah, that's why I said it'd probably be easier if you want a head and pop the legs and stuff on because you gotta put a good amount of pressure on here to get these legs on there. And then I will do the legs for the other side. And then I will put together the square. So, ah. Uh, good idea to put together the legs the tail the head and all of that and then just simply let the magnets do their job okay now the tail just I mean there there that's the cool thing about these there is no set way to do it okay so with the Triceratops, you do get 360 degree movement on the head. It does have the three horns, so that's accurate there. The tail, you get 300... Okay, the tail, you get 360 degree movement up and down. The legs swivel back and forth, and they do go uh, 360 degrees there and also you have wheels on this guy so your kids could roll him around <laughs> I love these guys wow and then we have this awesome stegosaurus so with this one again just simply go ahead start popping pieces off I mean it's <laughs> it's it's so much fun. I love these sets. And this one does come with uh, one of the box insert pieces. I think they all do. Uh, some, maybe somebody forgot to package it with the Triceratops one. So there you have it. It's all apart. And then. Like it, oh, okay, not all. And then, like I said, the easiest thing it would be to put together like the leg pieces before you snap in. Before you put it together and put the whole body together. So, self-explanatory. The uh, big yellow pieces are for the legs. Go ahead, snap the legs on there oh and I just did it backwards just don't do it backwards <laughs> that's not good <laughs> and then snap it in here take one of the pieces any piece that's why I love it interchangeable snap in for the tail snap in for the head here and now we're gonna go ahead and create the square but like I said it is a lot, and you can make this guy yellow or pink. So I'm gonna stick with the yellow because that's the color it came with. I don't want to confuse you guys. And then go ahead here, 
But, uh, it is two colors. And the same for the other ones. The other one, uh, Triceratops is two shades of blue. The, uh, actually, T-Rex is two shades of blue. The Triceratops is orange and red. So, with these two, it's easier if you go ahead and snap these pieces in before you put them on. I mean, the magnet holds it together strong, but... If you're putting like crush force on it, it's gonna affect it. Or you could do pink and yellow if you want. So that's the great thing about these, they are interchangeable. And then you go ahead and put this guy's spikes on. See, that is why you wanna put it together before. And the, uh, well actually, let's take a look at this and then I'll show you one of my favorite features of this thing. So once again, this one, the legs do move in and out 360 degrees there. The head will turn 360 degrees. I wish the mouth's open. Move up and down and the tail will turn 360, move up and down. Now let me show you one of the things I love about these sets. Look, this guy's just walking along and a huge dinosaur comes in. Steps on him, squashes him. Ho oh ho! And then, let's see how quick we can get this guy back together. Oh, it's not quick enough. <laughs> I'm sure you guys could do it much better and faster than I could. Your hands are probably a lot more dexterous than mine. Old age is catching up with me here. <laughs> okay, uh, so this box it looks like I crumpled the box when I did that. So maybe that's why the guy didn't just. Oh, okay. If you do want to squash him flat, take the box out. Don't do what I did. And then just. Wow! We squashed that guy flat! And then here. Here, 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 ta da! He is all put back together. How sweet was that? Let's do the crush test on the Triceratops. So, this guy's just rocking along, minding his own business, and bah! he gets crushed. Okay, quick, I'm gonna do two different colors. I'm gonna do orange and red color scheme here. So, once you get it together, you'll see this guy's got two different colors. Oops, looks like one of his legs popped clear off when I smashed him. Uh, okay, I managed to put it together without crunching him. And there you have it. You can see he is orange and red because it doesn't even matter what order you put the pieces on. So this Triceratops is bending down for a drink of water and ah, somebody stepped on him. Whoa, they crushed that guy. Okay, quickly, quickly, put this guy together. Hmm, not quick enough, come on. Could do it faster than that. Did we do it correct? <laughs> Always gotta check. You never know. And then you know what? Pieces are interchangeable here too. So you could make hybrid dinosaurs. I didn't even think of that, but you could check this out. You could make this guy have two different heads over there. You could interchange leg pieces because they do just pop off here nice and simply. So this guy could have like Triceratops legs and two heads. Wow, this is awesome.
no, something is happening here. The T-Rex thought he won, but this thing is snapping together. What is going on here? It's got eight legs, it's got three heads, it's got the strength of a train, and it could stand up on its hind legs. Look, the T-Rex is coming back. Oh boy, he sees that thing, he's like, what in the world? Oh, it's standing up on its hind legs. Wow, the T-Rex sees that thing again. Ah, oh, he's gone. Whoa, he got so freaked out at the look of this thing, he ran for his life. This thing's freaking me out. Look at him, he's got eight legs. He's got three heads and a huge tail. Wow, that is one hybrid dinosaur. Cool. Wow, guys, that was totally awesome. If you guys enjoyed that video, please go ahead, click like, drop me comments. Also, let me know what other videos you guys want to see because I do got over a thousand videos. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Transformers, Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, and a lot more. You guys are awesome, and I will see you tomorrow. And today's secret word is the word. Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos, and if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.